Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to a brand new video on the Source Scout channel. In this video, I'm going to explain something that I don't really know how to explain because it's quite something simple, which makes it hard to explain or at least I struggle with it. So in this video, I'm going to explain a truthy and falsy. It may sound familiar or you might have heard of it before. Truthy and falsy is basically a way of handling true and false in JavaScript. So what that means is that instead of everything defining as true or false and everything else would be true because it's something that exists, we have some things that are always false because of certain aspects of that thing. Now I'm just gonna pull up the MDN docs to show you what I mean. So let's start with truthy. In JavaScript a truthy value is a value that is considered true when you evaluate it in a boolean context. Examples of truthy and false in JavaScript which are translated to true and thus executed the, the if block are these things. So of course we start with true because true is always true. Now if we have an empty object that's always also true. An empty array is true, a number is true, a string with stuff inside of it is true, a new date is true, um, a negative number is true, positive decimal number is true, negative decimal number is true, infinity is true and negative infinity is true. And there are a lot more different values that you could come up with that would be true. And that is because they have certain aspects that make them true. So now if we check the falsy docs, we will see a couple of things. So if we check here, we see that these are the values that evaluate to false. So we start off with false because false is obviously false. But then we have null which is also false. So we can check if something is null, which means we can basically check if it's false. Now undefined is also false, zero, not a number. And then we have an empty string where one is using single quotes and the other one is using double quotes. And then there's one last thing for browsers that is really important. So because these evaluate to false, because they are falsy, JavaScript will by or these values will bypass the if block. So if we check if undefined, it will not execute. If we check if null, it will not execute. If we check if 42, like the truthy example, it will execute. If we check if zero, it will not execute. So Sometimes truthy falsy. I I don't really know how to give an example of how to use truthy falsy to your advantage, but I can explain when it can go wrong with truthy falsy, which basically gives you a general idea of how it works. So, in some cases, you might want to assign an ID or just a number to a user or a person, and if we do that we might run into some issues. So I'm just gonna declare a person and I'm not gonna do a whole lot of work. I'm just gonna say name is uh, Sep. And the number that I'm gonna give him is 42. I'm sticking with 42. So if the person, we want to log, there is a person. Now because person is an object and even empty objects are evaluated to true a person is an object which is filled so it will also be true we will log there is a person okay so if we check this we would see there is a person now what if we want to check the name well there is a name there's a person could have changed that to name but now there 
is an issue because you already have a ton of users and we want to make sure that they have the specific value we want or a specific um, key so I want you to check if the user has a num there is a number so what I do I check if the person has a number then I execute it then I want to do if not and as you can see I'm not using curly brackets right here and that is because that isn't necessary when writing a single line statement so else if the person doesn't have a number I want to set person.num equals um, 5 alright so if we check this person's number we see it's 42 so 42 is uh, evaluated to truthy so true is what will be executed if true console.log there's a number if not we want to set it to 5 so we will see there's a number as you can see now what if we change this to 0 what will we see well we don't see a thing because we haven't locked anything but if I were to lock person in console we would see num is now 5 but hey I assigned a number to person I assigned 0 so we made a person object and we gave it a number which is 0 and that number I want to be valid I want it to be 0 if it's 0 I want it to be true because I don't want to assign a number if they already have a number and I want zero to be a valid number that this person can have so this isn't a good way to check if the person has a number now what we can do is something different which is not related to the false but I'm just gonna show you how to do it because we are already at it what we can do is um, we can check if um, there's a couple of options we could check if the type of num is a number we could check if uh, the number is um, we could use is not a number to see if uh, this is not a number now it will return false because it's a number and then we would use the uh, inverted uh, boolean operator to change it to true if it's false those are all ways so I'm just gonna use is not a number now as we would see it will still lock nothing because it's not a number this is a number so it will be false now if we use not is not a number we would see there is a number so this is just a quick bypass now if we change it to 42 it will still be the, be the same so this is a fix for truthy falsy now in most cases truthy false is really useful especially for checking if stuff is undefined or no or anything else and this is just a way to bypass for instance the numbers and that kind of stuff now you can find a ton of um, uh, solutions to issues that may be caused by this but this was generally all you need to know for truthy falsy so if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.